People are constantly asking me, how do you get your dog to bring the toy back to you? How to, not, uh, how to keep the dog from playing keep away? Because a lot of dogs will play keep away with your toys, and then you're forever trying to chase the dog, try to get the dog back, chasing the dog down, and that's not fun, and it's not fun for the dog. So getting the dog to understand the game makes the game a lot more fun for both you and your dog. So I've got two toys here, and uh, we're gonna start with playing two ball for the dog to see that, but then I'm gonna show you some real important aspects when I put the other toy away, in getting your dog to respond to bringing the toy back. Remember, first and foremost, your dog must understand that the game is about an interaction with you. So if you're just playing fetch and the dog is always getting to chase this ball, grab the ball, run around and all that, like that, then your dog is going to learn that that's more fun than interacting with you. Now you're gonna see in a minute how Goofy can be fresh like that and have fun and have a great time. Remember, Goofy is 11 and a half years old. He's a great dog, he's had a lot, a lot of training, but some of these basics are things that I can get you to understand real quickly what I'm gonna show you now. So if I've got two toys, for example, here, one thing I'm always, always, always gonna do is I'm gonna throw them and say, Goofy, go get it, good boy. Hey, <laughs> right away when he gets it, I'm gonna show him another toy out, yeah, good boy. <laughs> I hope that's on film because that's going to be pretty funny. Now, these are magnet balls, so it's a little bit um, fun to play with these toys like this. Ouch. Yes, good. And you're going to get him to always understand when he brings it back, something else is going to happen. So this is the very, very first part of this game. Good, ouch. And this is what we call two balls. So I've got two balls, he brings one, I throw the other. I show him this one. Remember, they're the exact same toys. Good. Aus. Yes. Good boy. Aus. Yes. Every time he sees me, I say out, he sees another toy. Now, what I want to make sure of is that the dog doesn't start to drop the toy way in front of me and I have to go get it. So I'm going to tell him, hey, bring, 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 bring. Good. Aus. Yes. So now I'm gonna bring him closer in. So this is step one, is getting him to go, come on. Go here, 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 here. Ouch, yes. And he sees that this other toy is much, much more interesting, and he's gonna bring that toy to me. Go ahead, ouch. And I might even throw it through my leg. So that's another real quick technique that you can use here. Ouch, yes. Is throw the toy through your legs, because that makes the dog understand he's gotta close that distance to get it. Aus. Yes. So now let's look at phase two. So let's put this toy away. Aus. So now I've only got one toy. Now the goal here will be to get him to bring this toy back. And I'm going to show you the simple foundations to get him to do this. You've already started out with playing two balls. So he understands bringing it back to you is a good thing. But here is a simple mistake that almost everybody makes with their dogs. And this is why their dogs won't bring toys back. They'll say, yeah, good boy, go get it. And then they'll go, come here, come here, come here, 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 here. And right away, the first thing they do is they say, here, out, 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 sit. Right? And that's a negative implication for the dog. What the dog is learning by what just happened is I bring it to you, you take it away from me, and you make me do something that's not fun. So that's what you want to stop. That's the big secret of this video is do not take the toy away, make the dog do something that's not fun, and then shut the dog down. Now I can do it with Goofy a couple times because he's already trained. He knows it's just a game. It's just for the audience. But I'm going to show you the way I do it. I go, yeah, oh boy, go get it. Now when he brings this toy to me, watch what I do. Good boy, what you got? What you got? I get super excited. I go, oh, what you got? Yeah, oh, good boy. Good, yeah. Good, I engage him, I play with him here. Good boy, yo, yeah, good boy, and then I ignore him. And by the way, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, you'll be notified of all my new videos coming out. Oh yeah, as soon as he brings it to me, I play, 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 oh, good boy, and I walk away from him. Now naturally, that makes him come back to me, even though he's totally tired, makes him bring it back to me. Why? Because he wants to keep playing the game. The more the dog wants to keep playing the game and you take it away and then you force him to sit or down, the next time to play the game, he's gonna play the game in another way, which means he's going to run away from you and have you chasing him. The more I let him win and take it away and win and take it away, 
two things happen. One, he wants to continue the game. He wants to bring the toy to me and not keep it away. He's going to see that when he brings it to me, what's his initial thought? What you got? He doesn't think I'm going to take it away. He's like, oh yeah, see, he says, I bring it to you and we get to keep playing. And that's super fun for your dog. Good. Yeah. The game starts when he brings the toy to me. And if you want to see the rest of this video, head over to my channel, robertcabral.com for all the best online dog training available anywhere.